Abhijit, you know, uh, there's there was this whole. Uh, I sent you this forward as well. Op India did a piece on it, uh, where they uh, where they listed out the different connections that uh, that the Congress in particular has with uh, Soros. Uh, goes from employment to personal relationships to uh, the Prime Minister's daughter, the former Prime Minister's daughter, working for them uh, for his Open Society. Uh, would you like to expand a little bit on this because this is really what a lot of people are not talking about. So you know, it's uh, basically I'm applying the same standard to this that the Congress applies to Modi and Adani. Uh, when George Soros visited India uh, under the UPA, a few months later, Miss uh, Amrit Kaur, uh, Manmohan Singh's daughter, gets the job at Open Societies Foundation. Now you tell me, I'm not making a conspiracy theory. I'm basically turning what the Congress said around. At the, uh, uh, using their uh, uh, standards to measure them. The problem here is one or two is a conspiracy theory. But when every single thing adds up, Harsh Mandar is part of it, Salil Tripathi is part of it, everything that they run, they uh, work with Omidyar Foundation to uh, uh, fund things in India. Omidyar Foundation funds news laundry. By the way, have you seen the latest news laundry video? Uh, that uh, 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 they've done a joint production with that other uh, piglet organization, uh, that Dhania woman. Uh, wo coriander wali kon hai? Dhania Masala Vyapari. Dhania Rajendra. News Merit. That, that one. Wo, wo Dhania Masala Vyapari jo hai. Uh, uh, by the way, you know the adulterant for Dhania is uh, cow dung. So, wo Dhania Masala Vyapari and uh, 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 this. Uh, 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 <coughs> uh, a creature from news laundry whose only uh, uh, USP is to look constipated on uh, this thing has done one more of their constipation hemorrhoids videos where they just claimed, oh, conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory. And as usual, somewhere she puts on a mustache or something like that, a cute smiley and emoji to claim, oh, look, it's so funny. We're being sarcastic. Therefore, it's funny. It's not a real thing. You just look at the number of touch points in the conflict of interest that are coming out. There isn't a single goddamn anti-BJP, uh, anti-Hindu thing. And I add anti-Hindu to this. Because using that woman, there was that flow chart I tweeted. Uh, using that woman, they have funded the Dismantling Hindutva Conference. They have funded the Indian American Muslim Council, everything like that. Right. So they, they try to make it funny to get rid of the issue. But it isn't. There are too many points of contact here to say that this is a conspiracy theory. Basically, what we need to do is we need to start seizing all of Omidyar and uh, George Soros' investments in the Indian market. It's a very clear, straightforward, this thing. Because what he's trying to do to the political system, tomorrow he'll try to do to our markets. And when he does things to the markets, remember the last time he dabbled in the market, 10,400 people committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there is now a very straightforward reason that you need to start seizing investments. Omidya thankfully has been stopped, but its investments in India also need to be seized. Soros's investments need to be seized. It's that simple. He cannot be profiting off the Indian market. Period. Now, okay. I'm fine with, uh, you know, all these ministers coming out and saying stuff. My issue with this government has always been they talk beautifully when it comes to doing kuchne. But them talk is action. Ab bak bak kar liya, ab kuch kaam karo. 